Hey guys, how's it going? It's Woody HD and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a review of the 2017 UEFA Champions League final as Real Madrid won a 12th uh, European Cup as they beat Juventus 4-1 in Cardiff in the National Stadium. A fantastic result in the end from Real Madrid. Towards, of course, second half they were totally dominant. We'll get on to that in a minute. But the game started off pretty well for Juventus. They had some really good chances early on. They started on the front foot, Real Madrid could not get going early and we thought would their big guys show up, of course Ronaldo etc, would they show up in this game? They did exactly that, Juventus though started on the front foot, I was interested to see how Dybala, Mandzukic and Higuain would play as a front three. Of course they're all extremely dangerous in different areas, Mandzukic is a great head of the ball, Higuain's a great finisher as is Dybala, he's the, probably the trickiest of the three to mark. But the three of them started very well, they were on the front foot early here. And Real Madrid was struggling early on in this game. They were really looking to test Keylor Navas early on in this game. And Higuain and Mandzukic had two very good shots right to the start. But straight both at Keylor Navas as Real Madrid's defence looked a bit shaky early on. Of course, they got two great wing backs in Dani Alves and Alexandro. As they could really bomb forward down the flanks and cause Real Madrid's defence huge problems. They did exactly that uh, early on in this game. And Real Madrid could not cope with the front three and could not cope in the middle of the park. Their, of course, defensive midfielder, uh, Casemiro, and you've got Modric and Isco running forward in front. They were struggling to keep hold of Dybala and Higuain early on. And that and that's probably the only part of the game that Juventus really threatened early on before Madrid started to get going up front. But when Juventus is all that pressure and they couldn't make it count, Real Madrid, one of their first attacks of the game, a brilliant sweeping move in the middle of midfield. Benzema picking up the ball, running past uh, Pjanic down the left hand side, a lovely ball into Ronaldo who flicked it across as Carvajal was running behind down the right hand side, a first time ball straight back across to Ronaldo and with a first time strike from the edge of the air took a little deflection off Bonucci on the way forward on the way towards goal and that little deflection just pushed it past Buffon and Real Madrid and their main man Cristiano Ronaldo would he show up again on the big stage and he did exactly that in this game even though he didn't have many touches of the ball and didn't see much action in the first half. Ronaldo got the opening goal of the Champions League final after just 20 minutes. And we thought we were on for a big, big game here. Would that would that be the end of the event straight away? Would Madrid go on to control it? Absolutely not. Because what happened next was one of the best goals I've seen all season. This goal was absolutely brilliant. A lovely, the two contrasting attacking moves for both these opening goals. A lovely ball across from Pjanic to the left-hand side to Alexandro and jumped in the end without even the ball hitting the ground, crossed it straight in to the middle. Higuain with a lovely chest down, one-touch control in front of Varane and a brilliant overhead kick straight into the top corner. Navas could not keep it out and Mandzukic made it one all and with just 24 minutes gone, two goals already. This was set up to be a goal fest here in Cardiff, which is exactly what everyone wanted, of course, Two very good free, free flow and attacking teams. And Mandzukic with a brilliant overhead kick. A fantastic goal this. No chance for Navas. And it was one all. And Mandzukic, Higuain and Dybala. One of them I, I thought before the game was going to score at least one. Mandzukic was the man who did it. And all of a sudden this game was wide open. Both teams attacking uh, in numbers. And that's the way it ended up all the way to half time. Some good opportunities towards the end of half for Ronaldo again. When you got him up front, he was playing up front along with Benzema and coming, pulling back towards the wings as well. He was causing them all sorts of problems. But Madrid, towards the end of the half, got going and they continued that on to what was turned out to be a dominant second half performance. And Real Madrid took the lead again uh, just after half time. A lovely bit of play in midfield between Isco and Modric, who laid it off, crossed into the box. It was headed out to around 30 yards out. Casemiro thought, why not? He rifled one through all the bodies. He took a big deflection off Chiellini on the way through, just like the first goal when Benucci deflected Ronaldo strike in. And, Nav and Navas and Buffon had yet again beaten by a deflected goal. There was a lot of power behind it. It looked to be a brilliant goal, but a massive deflection put it into the bottom left-hand corner. And all of a sudden, Madrid were on in control. And he thought then that there was no way back. And they made it easy then. You don't see Casemiro scoring many goals, but this could have proved to be. And this, I think, was the turning point of the game. Juventus was still in the game before this goal. They still had confidence going forward, but this really dented their confidence. And within three minutes after this, it was all over. 
Yet again, a lovely attacking move down the left-hand side. They were intercepting balls from Juventus, not letting them find any shirts uh, going forward. Modric intercepted on down the right-hand side. Carvajal took it, a lovely through ball to Modric, right to the byline, and he crossed it in, and Ronaldo, anticipating the cross, ran to the, far, to the front post and curled it past Buffon into the net. And within two minutes, Real Madrid all of a sudden 3-1 up, and there was absolutely no way back then. For Juventus, Ronaldo again on the score sheet. As I said in the big games, he comes up strong, and this was 3 1 now. One thing that the referee had to do in this game, there were a lot of fouls, a lot of yellow cards. Of course, a tense final, both teams going for the win. There were a lot, I think, there were a lot of fouls that shouldn't have been fouls, but towards the end of the game, Quadrado got a second yellow card. He seemed to stamp on Ramos. He went down. Maybe he'd already been booked at this point, maybe should have just been a telling off. But in the end, to give the red card, which I thought was very harsh, Ramos, from what I could see anyway, made a big deal of it. And Quadrado, within 10 minutes of coming on, was sent off and they were down to 10 men. And then to cap it all off, right in injury time, it was already over by this point, but Real wanted more. And the youngster, who's going to be insane as he progresses, now Marco Senzio, he's already got 10 goals in La Liga this season. A lovely ball across from the left-hand side. Carvajal sweeping it in. And Asensio, just inside the box, curled it into the far corner. And that was it. A 4-1 victory for Real Madrid in the end. Juventus' early pressure came to nothing as Real took control and dominated the rest of the game. Saw a 12th European title for Real Madrid. Back-to-back -back now, of course, they won it last season. Will they win it again next season when the final is in Kiev in Ukraine? Are they going to be dominant again now? This team look insane at the moment. Of course, they won La Liga, beating Barcelona. They've won the Champions League in Cardiff. Will they win it again next season in Kiev? A dominant display, of course. Juventus don't concede many. They've got a very good defence, but they conceded four in this one. A free-flowing attack in football from Madrid. Isco was brilliant. Modric was brilliant. They were all insane in this game. Madrid are a team to beat at the moment. One of, if not the best team in Europe, in the world at the moment. What a team. What a result. What a performance. A 4-1 victory over Juventus. Can they do it again next season? Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this small review. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.